Good morning, good morning. Today I want to talk about sacrifice because it's a very important concept to understand and to liberally implement is sacrifice because we only have a finite amount of time. We have a finite amount of energy. We have a finite amount of bandwidth. We have a finite amount of choices. And so when it comes to sacrifice, I wanna just kind of encourage you to take it like the seasons approach. Because the seasons, you've got a dormant season, you've got a growth season, right? But you've also got a rooting season, if I can use agriculture or growing of plants and vegetables or something like that as the reference point. You've got the where you plant the seed. That's the first step. Then you give that seed what it needs. You nurture it. You give it the sunlight. You give it the water. You give it the nutrients. You give it the soil, the, the plentiful soil. And then the roots go down and then the plant comes up. And after the plant comes up, whatever that fruit, whatever that vegetable, whatever it is, then it's harvest season. And then you harvest that fruits and vegetables. And then it goes into the dormant season or the replenishing season where the process starts all over again. You sacrifice in a similar way. So if you are looking for growth in your career or growth in something you want to acquire, maybe a college degree, you want to make the varsity team, you want to write a book, you want to start a business, you want to start another business, you want to scale your business, you want to go on a hiring spree to help bring the, the staff in that's going to take you to the next level. All of those things, consider them like a growth phase or a getting ready to grow phase. So you've got to sacrifice recreation. You've got to sacrifice weekends. You've got to sacrifice evenings and you've got to deliberately sacrifice those things. And for a season, it's okay. For the duration of your life, it's not okay. Because if you don't sacrifice, then what you, if you don't sacrifice for what you want, then what you want becomes the sacrifice. I'm going to say that again. If you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice. But you've got to approach it in a growth season or in a, in a nurturing season or in a preparation season. So with regard to the business examples like I just gave, you're going to sacrifice weekends. You're going to sacrifice time with family. You're going to sacrifice recreation. You're going to sacrifice weekend out with the guys or the gals, or you're going to sacrifice evenings where you'd be with the family. And those things are necessary so long as the people and the things that you're sacrificing understand that it's a temporary season. It is not the norm because eventually if it's the norm, you're going to start losing the people around you. You're going to start losing precious things and you're going to start losing what you want because you're sacrificing too much. So let's talk about love and relationships. If you don't sacrifice things like I'm going to talk to teenagers and young adults, if you don't sacrifice your video games or your scrolling on social media for preparation or nurturing and building a relationship, you won't have a relationship. If you're not sacrificing things, then what you want is going to be your sacrifice, it will become your sacrifice. So you have to kind of look at it strategically. What do you want? What is it going to take to acquire what you want? And then just go about figuring out what you're going to sacrifice because it is an absolute must. Sacrificing is a mandate for what you want. You have Because again, it goes right back to what I just said when I started this. You have a finite amount of time. You have a finite amount of resources. You have a finite amount of bandwidth. You have a finite amount of energy. You have a fi finite amount of ideas. And so when you get your heart set on one, be prepared to sacrifice, but do it strategically and do it in a season and do it very openly with the people that are involved in your immediate sphere, your family, your spouse, your kids, your coworkers, your neighbors, the people that you have loving relationships with and let them know I'm going to sacrifice some things for a season. Can you help me with that? Can you support me with that? And when the growth season's over and it's time for the replenishing season and the rooting season and the planting season, then you can go enjoy those things. But you must take it strategically and you must, and I repeat, you must be prepared to sacrifice. 
Because if you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want will become the sacrifice. Have a great day. Take care. God bless and happy hump day.